So in today's video, we're going to be discussing a potential character coming to battle for Neighborville in the future. Before we do get into today's video guys, I am doing a giveaway over on Instant Gaming, so click the link down in the description to enter the giveaway. So what is going on guys, my name is Zero and welcome back to some more Battle for Neighborville here today on the channel. Today's going to be a discussion slash theory video and uh, if this does come true, then mark this day of this video. Now I have thought about this in the past but I haven't actually got around to making a video on it, but it's talking about a potential future character class in Battle for Neighborville because of course we don't have variants in the game. The team are going to be deciding to create characters or new characters to the game instead. So right now we have an electric variant which is electric slide, we have a fire variant which is snapdragon so I can probably see somewhere along the lines us getting an ice character, it could be wintermelon or something like that and also a toxic character as well. That's my theory, however today we're actually going to be talking about a character which probably has a good possibility of becoming a playable class in the future. And we are talking about our good old friend Tim over here. So this is Tim. He is a zombie that you talk to in the campaign for Weirding Woods. Look at this guy over here. He looks awesome. So he, he's already got a character model made, which I think is really cool and also very crucial. Now he's holding like a, a staff with like a dummy on it as well, but... You obviously get the sense that he's a little bit like a wizard. And there is a wizard zombie in Plants vs. Zombies 2. In Plants vs. Zombies 2, the wizard zombie can turn the plants into sheep, which once again would go and coalesce with potentially a character because Rose, on the plant side, turns zombies into goats. So if Rose is going to turn the zombies into goats, Tim the wizard here could turn plants into sheep. And that's kind of like a trade-off between both characters. Now... One other kind of like strong reason why I think Tim over here could become a playable class, or should I just say a wizard zombie could become a playable class, is because this is the only character so far in the game that we've spoken to that isn't actually a playable class. Now, if you go back to Town Center, every character you spoke to, whether it be in something to do with the campaign or a different quest, it was either a sunflower or a citron or a chomper or a corn. All of those characters are playable classes in Battle for Neighborville. And then if you come to Weirding Woods, you know, you can talk to this zombie over here. Look, it's a super brains that you can talk to. And then you've got a foot soldier over here. And then you've got an imp somewhere else and things like that. All of those are playable classes apart from this one character over here. So I thought that was a bit interesting. I thought, you know, this is a wizard zombie. I, well, I'm assuming he's a wizard zombie with his like staff and then his hat. He definitely gives me the sense that he's like a wizard zombie and we don't, we can't play him in the game just yet. And I have a feeling that we will be able to in the future because we can talk to him. He's not a playable class. He's the only character in the entire game that we've spoken to that isn't a playable class. And the fact that they already have wizard zombies in Plants vs. Zombies in PvZ 2, that's just kind of like strengthening the theory. So let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. Would you like to see Tim? As a playable class, he could be a wizard zombie or a sorcerer. So he may have magic that comes out of his staff and he could turn the zombies, uh, the plants into sheep. And he could do some other awesome, amazing things as well. Let me know what you think about this in the comments down below. But uh, I thought it was pretty interesting. I wanted to make a video on it. So if it does happen in the future, I can look back on this video and be like, you know what? My theory was right. But nonetheless, hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, make sure you do drop a like down below. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. But thank you very much for watching. My name is Zero, and I will catch you all in another video.